Welcome back to the Fitness Whisperer podcast. This is episode number eight. I'm Joey Atlas. And today I have yet another awesome success slash progress story because this lady's not done yet. She's got more goals, more progress to make. Uh, but before I get into her story, I'm going to say hello to Stephanie. And Stephanie, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, I appreciate it. So this is Stephanie's first ever podcast recording. So glad she's able to do this. And so Stephanie, I'm going to ask you to just to give our audience some context on you. Tell us a little bit about you, your life, family, etc. Sure. Um, uh, I'm a wife and a mother. I'm 35 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I have a seven-year-old and a five-year-old, a son and a daughter. And I homeschool my kids uh -huh. so all day. And, um, and I also work part-time for my husband. He has a construction company, so I do book work and stuff oh, cool. like that. Okay, so, yeah. very neat. What kind of construction work does he do? Um, he kind of specializes in gutters, but he can do kind of all things. Right, but. right. Awesome. Where do you guys live? We live in Minnesota. Okay. All right. Very cool. So you, did you enjoy the summer there? The summer was great. It was hot, but it was wonderful. I don't complain about heat. It's the cold, <laughs> but I'm like, get me out of here. <laughs> you guys get some winters there, don't you? Oh, we do. Last couple <laughs> have been pretty mild. So, I mean, like only yeah. a few 30 belows, but... Right. <laughs> Understood. All right, cool. It's a great intro. Thank you. So, so, so let's give the listeners some context. So why are we doing episode number eight? We're doing episode number eight because we're having some really good feedback on these success stories that we've been sharing. Uh, yes, of course, especially the cellulite topic and all the women who are beating and defeating their cellulite, reversing the cause of it. But of course, more so the bigger issue of holistic health, wellness, strength, longevity, and just creating a better quality of life for yourself. And of course, if you're your best, your family and your friends get your best. And that's what we want, right? And in the process of doing this, our bodies get better. The outside gets better. And again, for women, yeah, there's this cellulite thing. And we're here to, to let people know that all that can improve, including the cellulite. So here's how this came about. Here's how episode number eight came about. Uh, every now and again, I will get an email or my support team will get an email of somebody saying, hey, just want to let you know your program has worked wonders for me. Uh, cellulite is X percent gone or totally gone or it's, you know, 60 percent gone in three months this is the first thing that ever worked. Your fitness methods are awesome because I could do them at home and they're better than uh, whatever, anything I did at the gym, et cetera, et cetera, all the hardcore stuff. This is a gentle way I could do forever. Just want to let you guys know how grateful I am. So we usually reach out to those people and ask them if they can share more, if they'd be willing to come onto the podcast. Uh, and so anybody who's been tuning in, you know, at least the last four five, maybe six episodes are these exact candid success stories on video and on audio with me sharing those details and, and women of, of all ages, actually, from 30s into their late 60s and everywhere in between. So what I did was I sent out an email saying, hey, if anybody has a success story and you haven't reached out to me yet, please do. So literally that same day, I got a bunch of replies. Uh, Stephanie here was one of the first replies that came in. So I reached out to her first, asked her if she'd be interested in coming onto the podcast. What I was going to do was, Steph, I was going to, I was going to reread your email okay. um, because it is, it's awesome. So instead of doing that, though, I just want us to use that as a, a rough outline for us to have a conversation today to go deeper into some of those really important things that you shared in that email. And if anybody wants to read that exact email where she details her before story, how she found me what programs she started doing, and how her body and her medical issues started improving over the course of several months. I'm going to give you the, the link, the exact link where I share her email, and you can come sign up for free, get a bunch of freebies, and get the email copy and pasted so you can read her words exactly as they came in that day. But today, we're going to go into deeper details beyond just that email. So what I would like to do is Let's, um, Stephanie, let's talk about your before scenario. You, you covered it in the email, but let's cover your before scenario. Before you found me, I know you mentioned you 
there was there was a before before period where things were not doing so well. You were you were losing muscle tone. You know there was atrophy. You were, you were starting to see things you didn't like. I think you said you lost your butt during that period, right? Things were going south, and then you actually gained weight on top of that because of COVID. So tell us more about the before scenario. How did you get into that before state uh, and then into COVID? Um, well, after I had my first child, um, I don't know how many months it was after maybe nine months, a year, I don't remember, but um, I started having heart pain and it was, it was such that I couldn't exercise. Like I, I was doing Jack LaLanne at the time. Okay. Um, and uh, I couldn't even do that. Like I had to stop because it hurt so much. And so I, through various doctors and whatnot, um, I, they found no answers really. Mm. <laughs> but um, my uncle who used to be a doctor, he helped me out a lot and just helped me with nutrition and um, blood work and getting my levels where they should be of different, you know, vitamin D, you know, mm. selenium iodine, that kind of thing. Um, so working with him, um, really helped. And then he kind of helped guide me towards proper eating because I was just eating whatever I wanted, like a big uh, pile of mac and cheese and venison <laughs> broth. And that was awesome for me, but <laughs> it not wasn't good for your health. No. <laughs> so, so anyways, I still have the heart arrhythmias every once in a while. They're not as severe and I don't have the heart pain or the pericardium, you know, rubbing against uh, itself anymore. But um, so several things have gotten better over the years. And that was about six or seven years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so, but then uh, since it hurt to exercise, I was told just don't exercise. Mm -hmm. So I really didn't. And, you know, if I even went biking, that would cause heart arrhythmias and it would just leave me so short of breath, you know, and lightheaded. Mm -hmm. And so I, I just didn't do any exercise, which I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I've tried going to the gym in the past. That's not my thing. I right. hate going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Yeah. So I uh, tried, I tried that. I have done Pilates. I didn't mind that. It's just expensive, you know, yeah. and couldn't really, it's not really sustainable for me. Um, so anyways, so I didn't exercise. And so I started noticing I was getting very mushy. Like mm. I've been an athlete my whole life. And so I've been relatively toned. Mm. Um, but then just without exercising at all, I just got really mushy, like mm. my arms, my leg, my thighs. Right. And I started being unshapely. Like instead of being like this in my pants, I was like this in my pants. Mm -hmm. And probably nobody noticed it but me. Um, because I am taller and maybe how, I can hide. How how tall are you? I'm five eight. Okay. Um, so I'm not like super tall, but yeah, yeah. Understood. Um, but anyway, so then COVID hit and I I had um, I gained like 15 pounds because mm. I don't lots know. Of lots of people did. Yeah, I gained the COVID 15. Right. Uh, so anyways, and I just- So, was so you're bad. getting mushy, you're getting flabby, uh, you're battling this mommyhood, uh, heart arrhythmia condition. You try to do things, it would hurt. And you were told to basically not exercise really. And, and that was fine by you because you didn't care to go to the gym and work out the way you thought you should. Right. Right. Well, um, it was kind of okay with me, but I, um, I just, I don't know. I, I didn't like the feeling of, I run to the mailbox and back and I'm exhausted. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. I so didn't so like you, you didn't want to feel stuff like that. So, no. so you're not exercising. Uh, you're getting mushy, your body's losing its shape, you're getting soft and things are heading south, gravity's pulling things down. You don't like the way you look in the mirror, I'm taking it, like naked or yeah. with a, a, a bikini on. Yeah, I was just kind of more self-conscious about, and then I started noticing, well, I went to my friends in North Carolina and I was wearing a jean skirt and this was in like March. So it was, you know, pasty white from being a Minnesotan. And um, <laughs> right. Looking at my legs and like gross. They're so gross. They're like just dimply and. There's oh, no okay, okay. So now you're seeing like you're noticing the cellulite, yes. quote, quote unquote cellulite. So, describe the specifics of your cellulite issues. You're seeing these dimples and shadows on your thighs. Like, what about the glutes, upper thighs, yeah. inner thighs? Explain the details. Below the glutes, definitely, and I still have like one deeper one that mm -hmm. is going away, but yeah. it's. Uh -huh. but progress it's going 
Yeah. <laughs> so, and then I just noticed it like kind of all over my legs to be quite honest. And right. um, yeah, it was just not something I wanted to see. And it just- So, so you, had, you had that quote unquote classic cellulite texture, like dimples, like a mush, the mushiness actually showing as an appearance when you looked at your body. Yes. Right? And it was becoming obvious compared to what you looked like before. Right. Right. So, um, all right. So, so you had gained the COVID weight, you, you got the jean skirt on, you're noticing this does not look good. The cellulite's, the cellulite is obvious, right? Mm -hmm. So much so that it was bothering you. Right. Right. All right. So, so what did you do? Like, what did you do after that? What, what, what was the trigger? Well then, okay. So I was kind of doing these little leg lifts or whatever. I'm like, something's, I got to get my muscle back. Um, and I had, thought about going back to Pilates, but I'm like, dang, I don't want to spend that money. It's like 50 bucks a session. And I do it like once a week, you know, right. and I don't have a reformer. I don't have the room for that in my house, whatever. So I was like, I got to figure this out. And so then I was just searching online. I think I Googled or DuckDuckGo or whatever the search engine was. I just um, Googled how to get rid of cellulite. And you were one of the first ones that popped up. I mean, maybe I scrolled a little bit past the yeah. creams and crap, but um, right, right. I was like, this guy, I watched your little video. Okay. The, the hand-drawn video? Yeah, or the hand-drawn video. <laughs> okay, cool. And, um, so it made like, sense to you. Yeah, I was like, this makes sense. Because I know that, you know, working out works. It changes your body and for the good. So I was like, I bought your, that day I asked my husband, I'm like, can I get this? I really. <laughs> All right. So let me, let me ask you this. We, yes, we know now, of course, there's a specific way to, to exercise and train the body that does reverse the cause of cellulite in that video what made sense to you in regards to differentiating from other general fitness programs and workout methods even, even especially the hardcore stuff i think that it was targeted mm -hmm. um and i think i don't remember exactly what you mentioned in the video but um you had three women on there that kind of gave their stories at the mm -hmm. end right and for some reason that really stuck with me and i could identify with one of them i don't remember who but i just was like oh yes that makes sense yeah those were some of the earliest success stories uh, before before the program and some of the later success stories went viral they were like my earliest uh, and i just used them in that video yeah. um, so okay okay cool so you watch so you did your search you watched the hand-drawn video it made sense to you told your husband i got i gotta get this can i get it and then what happened so i just bought the initial that's so naked like, naked beauty the simulast method yeah so like the right. six videos and then i bought your dvd of the ultimate but hip, oh hip ultimate leg butt hip and thigh okay and i didn't I like know that <laughs> what's that so that kicked my butt <laughs> yeah it's a good one it was a good one so and then i just was doing that for a couple months i wanted to make sure i was going to stick with it yeah. you know i've tried things and stopped and tried sure. and Anyways, so, but I just was like really enjoying it. And so then I decided to buy your total access and right. I've been loving that. I, all right. So before we get to you loving total access, because a lot of people are loving total access. Um, what did you love about the ultimate leg, but hip and thigh makeover and naked beauty? What was it about them that really appealed to you? Um, I loved that I could do them without dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally, sometimes I felt like I was dying with my heart, right. uh, not with you, but like yep. with other things. And um, I, I didn't get any heart arrhythmias. I didn't have any problems. And I could tell that I was building my stamina up slowly. Mm -hmm. um, and my body was starting to shape, shape in a nice way. And I'm like, this is encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. All right. So really important point here for anybody listening, for the person who is listening notice that Stephanie has had medical challenges she was dealing with where she couldn't do the traditional hardcore push push kind of workout stuff that is flooding the mass markets because they would trigger medical issues heart issues arrhythmias right and you that would hurt so she's she's doing these initial lower body programs not only is she not feeling those heart pains but they're getting better right your, your heart arrhythmias are improving mm -hmm. and your body's starting to change in ways that are very pleasing to you, right? Right. right. All right. 
So then you're like, so, so you're convinced, okay, I, I can keep doing this. I want to keep doing this. All good things are happening. So you join total access, yeah. which, which in your email you said is the best $19 I spend each month. That's right? true. <laughs> Tell us more about that, please. Um, I just love the variety. I, I'm kind of like, if I keep doing the same thing over and over again, I get bored. And so I just love that you have so many different videos and so many different, like I can target legs one day, I can target abs and, you know, core and mm. I can target my shoulders or arms and the stretches. And I really just, I really love all of it. So thank awesome. You. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for putting your trust in my message and, and changing your life this way. Um, that brings joy to me really, because I know it's, it's also, you know, your family, your husband, the kids, they want their mom to be strong and healthy for life. They don't want her, you know, on, on shaky ground. So love knowing that there's a ripple effect here. Have you tried any of the recipes yet? I have tried, oh, which one? I've, I've watched several of them. I hate, cooking. <laughs> like I hate cooking. And so yeah, but I, you see how easy I make it, right? I know, that's why I'm like, it inspired me. I didn't have all the ingredients on one of them. I don't remember what it was now. It was a okay. salmon of some sort, I think. Okay. Um, okay. I didn't have all the ingredients, so I just like did my own thing, kind of inspired yeah. by it. Right, like right. The whole spices thing, like that makes a lot of sense. Yes, yes, very important. Uh, the herbs and spices that, you, and if you watch more of the videos and try them, you'll see it's a heavy theme in all that I do because we get so many health benefits out of the various herbs and spices that are available to us. Mm -hmm. uh, again, by divine design, they're not just on this earth for us not to eat, but we benefit from those because they make good healthy meals taste even better right and they bring health benefits into our bodies by nature of them coming from the earth yeah. so watch some more of those videos try a few more of them and keep me posted on the, yeah. the, the easy and fast that's why they're called quickly fit so that it doesn't have to be a big project okay um okay so cool so you love total access loving everything about it um best 19 dollars you spend every month and I've mentioned this before, like a lot of people will email me if they don't post in the optional Facebook group, they'll say, you know what I realize, like not spending this $19 investing in myself was costing me money beforehand because I would have to go to the chiropractor twice a month or physical therapy, or I'd have to buy, you know, extra medications for all the aches and pains or I realize now how horribly I was eating. And so I'm spending all this extra money on bad foods because I'm feeding my addictions. And now just changing all that, I realize I'm literally saving. Some people said they've saved as a couple, like $500 a month between chiropractor visits, uh, pain medications, uh, doctor visits, co-pays, how they changed their nutritional structure. They're like, we're eating better. And we reduced our food bill by 30% a month. That's that adds up. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. So let's talk before we go on to the, the bigger health benefits, cellulite. So, you, so you're doing, how many months has it been from when you started to when you wrote me that email a few days ago? Um, about five. I think I started in April. Okay. So five solid months. And let's start here. What percentage would you say have you gotten rid of your cellulite? I would say about 80 to 85%. Um, still got some areas in the inner thighs that I'm working through, but. Okay, so what, so what areas have definitely improved? So let's start there. Definitely um, kind of like all around my thigh, um, mm -hmm. besides like the, just the very inner part. I mean, I still, it's, the inner part is better than it was, but there's right. still some it, some Yeah, then it, it, for some women, inner, the inner usually lags in terms of catching up with the rest. So, so basically the whole thigh leg area has improved generally 80, 85%. Yeah. And, and the what? Yeah, and the glutes. The so glutes. Glutes. How, uh, yeah, so the, yeah. Photo you, the photos you shared... Uh, again, whoever, whoever's listening, tuning in or watching, I'm going to share at least one or two of the photos with decent lighting uh, on the blog post where I'll post the email. Stay tuned to the, till the end and I'll let you know where you can see those photos and read the original email. 
the photos you sent, like it's obvious. You can see, okay, this lady's doing some something good and right. You can see it. Um, so when you say your glutes, like what what are the exact changes you would describe as on the glutes? Um, well, besides just the cellulite kind of going away, um, the shape. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. We're all working from home. They're doing construction. Okay. They're doing construction and they hear it and they're going crazy now. No worries. No worries. Work from home. Sorry. This, this part, it goes with the territory. So, so the glutes. So, so you mentioned your 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 butt was like getting flat in in the before days, yeah. right? It was kind of like drooping, sagging. You didn't yeah. have a butt. Okay, so <laughs> now we're <laughs> talking. All right, so the so the butt had disappeared basically. It was not one you were proud of walking around in a bikini in. No. Right. No, I didn't even really want to walk in. <laughs> yeah. So you so you probably didn't. You avoided it. Right. Or I'd wear a cover right? up or whatever. Yeah, that's it. Avoiding it, covering up, which we're not showing it because it's not there. It's not looking like you right. want it to look. Now it is like the, that one photo from the side is obvious. Like this lady's got a perky, you know, round sculpted butt. Yeah. So that, I would say that's a huge difference, huh? I, I think so. That was one of the things that I noticed right away was mm -hmm. the, how targeted the exercises were. And it just really worked my glutes in a way that no other exercise program really had. And I started noticing a difference. And I'm like, dang, my pants are fitting me right. <laughs> I look pretty good. <laughs> nice, nice, love it. So, so have, you, have you worn a bikini toward the end of the summer here? Um, yeah, I wear, or, well, I wear like two piece. I don't get like yeah. all super. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> understood. But you're, you're good wearing a swimsuit now, no problem. Yeah. And like yeah. shorter shorts, I'm okay with because I feel confident that it's not right. just yeah yeah and so being 80 85 percent improved inner thighs we want to we want to get some more improvement so i'll tell you right now before we move on in total access there is a session and i'll, I'll email this to you but you can also use the search box just type in um either buns and it'll bring up all the 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 glutes and the buns training sessions and you'll see one in there it's called boom and buns toned thighs legs for life it's a it's an April twenty eighth replay. Have you tried that yet? I love that one. I love the okay. ones of you in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> Those were COVID replays. Like I was do I was doing that for everyone in total access, but also all of our local studio clients who couldn't come to the studio. So myself and the coaches at the time, we were taking turns doing re like live COVID from our from our homes streamed to our clients and so the first few we did people were like these are awesome like can can you save these so we can do these again so i said well yeah of course we'll just we'll add them to total access and so those are some people's favorites so so you've tried the the april 28th replay the one where i have the towel that i'm using the towel between the legs on certain exercises for the inner thighs yeah okay so you're going to want to use that one at least once a week Okay. As you, to, so that we're focusing on the inner thighs in addition to the other lower body sessions. Cause that's, that has a little bit more focus on the inner if you noticed. Okay. All right. Okay, okay cool. So what other, what other improvements, benefits, results are you seeing beyond the cellulite in regards to your whole body, how you feel, everything, just go down the list. You know, the things you put in that email, just list them off casually here. Well, one of the things I noticed right away is just, just, I feel good when I exercise in the morning and I have this clarity of mind that, I don't know, sometimes I, I said, oh, I just have mom brain, but I'm, I felt sometimes like I was getting Alzheimer's. <laughs> like okay. I, just, I just couldn't think through things. But then since I started doing this, I just have been like, I have a clearer mind. I have more energy. Definitely. Um, especially on the days I work out, which is almost every day, but um, I just, I feel better overall. And then just right. specifically, I have um, portal hypertension. My, my portal vein has too high of blood pressure in it. 
Um, mm. And so I can feel when that, uh, I can feel pain in my abdomen. Um, and then I was also starting before I started doing this, I, I was feeling it down my leg, like mm. vein pain. Mm -hmm. And I have a, a clotting issue too. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> anyway, wow. so I thought, oh, maybe it's a blood clot, you know? And so I asked my chiropractor and he's like, oh, you'd be hurting a lot more than just this dull ache, you know? And I was like, okay, well, lo and behold, after doing, you know, your workouts, this leg pain is completely gone and it has not come wow. back. No and problem. my, my portal hypertension pain is very rare. Um, maybe if I eat wow. something I should be eating or something like that, yeah. it's hard at all. And it used to be there every single day. Really? So, yeah. And, th and those are gone. Those are gone. I mean, once in a great while, I'll get my portal hypertension, but the leg pain has not shown its face again. So, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, other improvements, like what, what else, I, what else are you loving? Um, I just, I feel stronger. Like I can lift. I mean, if I'm doing yard work or I'm cleaning out the garage or whatever it is, I just feel like I can properly <laughs> lift things and have good form about it and not hurt myself doing that anymore. I used, I used to throw my back out like all the time. And I do visit the chiropractor regularly just because I have some back injuries from being a PCA, but um, I, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm strengthening that core and supporting yes. that spine. Um, yes. so that I can just not be laid up on the couch for a few days. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. That's huge as a busy mom homeschooling the kids. Yeah. Awesome. And so tell us about the belly pooch before and after. Yeah. So after my second child, I had this little, I thought it was just, you know, excess skin. Everybody has that, whatever, but I'm like, okay, it'll go away eventually. Never went away. And then it just would get kind of, especially with my COVID-15, it just kind of got more pronounced. And then it kind of started working its way around my top of my pants. It, the belly pooch was growing. <laughs> it was which I was not excited about. So I'm like, all right, this needs to stop. <laughs> and so the, pa the pants were getting tight. They were so tight that I literally some days I would just like take them off at night and be like, oh. <laughs> put off my Relief. leg. <laughs> okay, and so, so when did you notice that started going down and where is it at now? Right now, um, well, it started going down probably about a month or so into doing your program. Mm -hmm. um, and then right now I feel like I fit into my pants great, so. No problem. Yeah, I mean, your photos are obvious, like there's no belly pooch there anymore. You got, you can definitely see some abdominal toning and some definition in the midsection. Yeah, it's fun to see like, I have my muscles back. I think I have more muscles than maybe I've had even in my high school, college volleyball days, so. I'm, I'm gonna say you're probably right, just, just not because of, you know, I'm tooting my own horn, but by the nature of this style of gentle training, slow, focused, controlled, it makes you engage not just muscles, but fascia, connective tissue, nerves, tendons, so that we're, 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 we're activating everything, improving everything, and creating this understructure of the body beneath the skin layer that shows the definition, the tone, the firmness and you start to see things that you didn't see before even when you were an athlete and you were active and you were doing some kinds of practices and workouts this this style of training it's a blend of making the body and health better while improving the body more so than traditional mass market workout programs and most people just don't get it until they're doing it because they always think, well, you got to work out really, really hard if you want to have an awesome body. Like that's all people talk about. That's all you see on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Like you got to push hard if you really want the best results, which that's not true. The opposite is the truth. If it's done properly when going gently, right? right? Which, which you're experiencing and you're seeing those results and changes that you didn't see before, right? And so you're only five months in, which means, as you said, you're still seeing improvements as the weeks progress, right? Yep. Tell us, um, tell us what improvements you would like to see beyond now so that we could set the stage for a progress update in the future. Um, well, I'd like to, 
um, it's like I said, my inner thighs, work on those, get them more firm. Um, and just, I don't know, just overall, I'd like to work on my shoulder. I have some rotator cuff issues from sports and stuff. Um, just working on that more um, so that I don't have pain in my shoulders as much. Right. And just stabilizing that core for me too yep. is something that I'm really working hard on. So. Okay. So have you seen the Shoulders for Life uh, mini mini session? In I just started that this week, actually, I found that. And I was like, oh, okay. this is what I need. So I did that a couple of times this week. Perfect. That's going to be awesome for your shoulders for fixing that one and then keeping them strong for life so that you don't have setbacks in the future. Right. Uh, awesome. So you got that one. We got the booming buns. Um, All right. So the thing you mentioned about mental clarity and getting rid of mom brain and stuff, this, as, as you know, this style of training, like you kind of have to be tuned into what you're doing because you're controlling your movements. You're moving slowly. You're, you're pausing at certain times in the movement for a, for a mild, subtle isometric, right? So you're tuning into your body much more so I would argue than other workout programs, right? Because you have to exhibit more control and focus and removal of momentum, right? You're training your body, which is what it wants. It needs that training so that when you're doing all this, your brain is, is helping you. It's like the command center helping you navigate each session, each repetition, each exercise, and you're training your brain in the process, right? So you've, we've got this complete loop going on, this loop of connection and focus and usage that is actually improving the brain, the mind, and hence the brain-body connection, mind-body connection, so that you're making your brain better, your mind better, your mindset, your actual functionality of your brain, so that we fixed, did, did we fix mom brain or is there still a tiny bit of it? <laughs> For the most part, it's, I mean, there's always going to be a little bit. <laughs> yeah, of course. But yeah, no, I, I do feel a lot better mentally. So mental clarity, mental sharpness, mental energy, emotional energy, right? We got, we got that all boosted up. Yep. Yep. I have a lot more. Um, so when I'm tired, I lack in patience. I don't know if mm. anyone else is like this, but, oh yeah. Um, but just having that extra energy, even though I'm waking up earlier to do this, like I wake up, read my Bible and exercise. That's my morning routine every day. And Amen. even though I'm waking up earlier, I still have more energy. And I yes. never thought that was possible. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. No. <laughs> it is. It's what comes first, the chicken or the egg, right? People who are out of shape, they're hurting. They're like, how can I even exercise? I hardly have any, any energy as it is. Well, we, you know, we got to, we got to break that cycle somewhere. So if we start training the body properly, eating better, like you've been eating better, you're not having those monster Mac and cheese meals anymore. Right. So you're feeding the body better. You're starting to use the quickly fit rapid results recipes. And I know you're going to use more of them because I'm going to share a few specific ones with you to, to try this weekend or next week. What happens is by training the body properly, which is what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to ignore the body feeding it better we then give the body better abilities, more capabilities. We sleep more deeply. We sleep better, hence we're well rested. We can get up earlier, we can do more, and we were, we've reversed that cycle into a cycle of goodness and energy and strength instead of the downward spiral of no energy, needing more sleep or feeling like you need more sleep and not being able to be your best every day. We've turned the tables. That's what you're feeling now. That's what you're living in. Right. And I think giving, like the, the eating component, I think is so huge because there have been times when I just like fall off, you know, you fall off and you start just eating junk for a month or whatever it is, you have a busy month and you feel it almost immediately. Yep. Like you're not right. getting that fuel that your body needs. Instead, you're sludging it up. It's like putting diesel in a regular car. <laughs> it doesn't want yeah. to run. No, this is, this is profound right here. Before we wrap up, I'll, I want to I wanna expand on that point. Anybody who, who has a chance to listen to this and get to this part of this, 
how you feed your body is going to dictate the quality of your exercise results and your life. We're not meant to put all this garbage into our bodies that, that stock most of the shelves in supermarkets. We're just not. Okay, it should actually be illegal and eventually maybe one day it will, but we don't need to be eating the, the traditional quote unquote American diet. It's way too heavy. It's, it's abusing the body and it causes a lot of these medical issues that some people can't figure out what's causing their problems. It's the traditional American way of eating that's at the root of most people's medical issues and, and life problems. If your medical issues are tying you down, weighing you down and keeping you from being your best self, it affects every area of your life. That's it. Everything's connected. So the fact that you've been cleaning up your eating, you're not on a diet. You're just making improvements based on what you're seeing and hearing me share, right? Yeah. Just one of the main things I kind of try to think about is you know, everything I put into my mouth is a choice. Like I can choose to have a bowl of cereal or I can choose to make a smoothie or whatever it is. I can choose right. to have a bagel with an inch of cream cheese or a salad. <laughs> yes. And the set, have you, you haven't seen my salad recipes, I'll bet. Uh-uh. No, I All haven't. All right. So, so this is going to like blow your mind. Like the salad recipes, they're like gourmet. You'll, you're going to want to eat them every day instead of the bagel and cream cheese. Like you're going to crave the salads because they're awesome. Like the problem is most people, when, when, when somebody traditionally says, oh, I'm going to start eating more salads, they're already thinking like diet food. Like, yeah. I, no, no, we're not supposed to eat a salad that we don't want to eat. We're supposed to eat salads that are like, oh, man, I can't wait to make that again. Right? So they have to have the seasonings, the herbs, the spices, you know, healthy oils like organic olive oil, balsamic vinegar, or squeezed lemon with good greens like there's so many good greens romaine lettuce um chopped peppers tomatoes baby grape tomatoes avocado you should put a fruit in your salad like whether it be a half a nectarine or some awesome apple slices or some chopped strawberries like this changes the game when you start wanting to eat like this and crave it every day you are giving your body the raw materials for the new cells that are going to become your body as they replace the old sickly cells. Right. Like this is how this is how health, wellness, longevity, disease prevention works. What you put into your body and how you treat your body physically is going to dictate the state of your body because it becomes what you do to it and what you feed it. Anybody listening, let that sink in. Stephanie is experiencing these changes in real time. Yes, her body's changing because of the specific unique exercise routine she's doing. But as you heard her, she stopped eating the way she used to be eating. And now she's feeding her body with proper nourishment, building blocks that are allowing her body to change, improve, get stronger, and look better on the outside too. Right? Right. All right, so we're, I'm going to share some links to the salads for you so you can get into those. Uh, even the kids might like them. Maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll see. That's going to be part of the test. Uh, I know you're going to like them, though. Um, okay, so before, uh, before Stephanie shares her closing thoughts, anybody tuning in, if you want to read her original email, see some of her progress photos. Oh, by the way, Stephanie, do you happen to have any other before photos? I know the one you shared with me was like a little iffy. If you can't really tell, I could tell, but I know like to, to the untrained eye, they might be, ah, what else does she have? I want to see more before photos. I, know, I was looking through my photos and I actually had to take a screenshot of a video that Titus, my son took. And I was like, oh, that's about as bad as I don't Understood. know. So I don't have a ton of, I never really took any before photos. I just didn't think about it. Yeah, yeah, understood. All right, if you come across any, let us know, but definitely want to see more progress photos in the future. I'll share the ones we currently have. Um, if you get to another uh, end of summer outing here and you're wearing a swimsuit or something and you feel like taking a photo or two for us to include with the podcast blog post, um, that would be awesome because I know it, it inspires women to see, yeah, okay, we could see the changes, but the ones you've shared already are good. If you want to do another, uh, they'll be totally appreciated. 
Um, anybody listening, if you want to see any of that, what we have already, uh, you can go to fitnesstraining.live, fitnesstraining, T-R-A-I-N-I-N-G dot L-I-V-E. Not only will you get the links to this episode and previous episodes and Stephanie's original email that she sent, You'll also get to see at least one or two of the photos that she shared, possibly a future progress photo, but you're also going to get freebies to get started. If you're new here, I got freebie videos. Some of them we actually mentioned on this podcast episode, like I share part of the ultimate leg, butt, hip and thigh makeover, one of the, one of the mat sessions from level one. So you'll be able to get those and a bunch of other surprise freebies that are going to start changing your life. The moment you start looking at them and using them. So fitnesstraining.live is where you can get everything. Um, share this with anybody you know. Rate and review the podcast if you're listening to this on Apple. Uh, and if you want to see the video version, if you're not watching the video version now, if you are listening to it on a podcast player and you want to see the video version, just go to joeyatlas.tv. That's joeyatlas.tv. That's the shortcut to my YouTube channel where most of these, if not all of them, get posted as video versions. And please do let us know you were there. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, share it with somebody, post in the comments. All right, closing thoughts here. Stephanie, to the woman who's listening right now, she's like, oh man, I just heard about you know, Joey Atlas and his programs. And uh, I, I wonder what this is all about. Like, this is a great episode. That new woman who's still looking for answers, still struggling, maybe has gained the COVID 15 or 20 or 30, or maybe she's just totally skinny fat, not even gaining weight, but her body's going to mush. She's got cellulite. She feels awful. She feels miserable. She's not happy. She's looking for an answer. What would you say to that woman tuning in right now? Um, I would say, first of all, identify, identify your why. Like, why do you want to change your life? Because it will change your life. Um, and for me, it was, for my family and my kids. I wanted to be all there. I wanted to be mentally there, physically there, emotionally there, spiritually there. Like I just wanted to be there for them. And I don't want mm, mm, to always be kind of on the sidelines or held up. So that was kind of my big why. And then another thing for me to encourage you, I guess, if you're watching, um, is don't look at, so I'm at A right now. I want to get to Z. Don't look at Z. Like, just take your baby steps, step by step, and each day is an opportunity to make better choices and to um, make progress and just and just celebrate the little successes and the little um, advances in progress that you make because those are so exciting and it, it has a cumulative effect on your overall well-being for the rest of your life if you stick with it. So yeah, that's that's good. That's really good. Don't look at going from A to Z look at going from a to the next step see it as a lifelong journey and just focus on progressive steps that's good because a lot of people are overwhelmed by thinking okay i'm going to get started i need to reach my goal and uh, how fast can i get there right no just make this part of your lifestyle it's part of the journey you're going to get there as long as we choose the right approach the right way of doing it of course um so one last thought for the woman who might be here for cellulite specific reasons, thinking I've heard all the myths. They say you can't get rid of cellulite. You know, once it's there, it's permanent or it can only get worse or, you know, you can only do it with surgery or whatever. What could you say to dispel those myths to that woman who's a non-believer? I would, sorry about all the dinging. I don't know if you can hear That's that. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, anyways, I would say um, just it works. I mean, you have to put in the time, you have to put in the effort. It's not just going to go away just because you wish it away. Um, but your exercises, Joey, they really do make a difference and they, they're so targeted and they're so focused, but it's, it's, it's easy and fun to do. So that's my <laughs> part. Is it's fun. Easy, easy and fun to do. And, <laughs> and so far in five months, you've gotten rid of 80 to 85% of your cellulite issues on your body yep. and, and still making progress with it. Yes. So, it, so that's proof that it works. Okay. So we're going to share your progress story. We're going to look for a photo update in the future, if not next summer for, for a swimsuit shot so that women can see, okay, she's cellulite free. Like she's done it. Um, 
I think you said one of those dents is even still disappearing. There's one that was really pronounced in the beginning and it's disappearing, right? Yep. Awesome, awesome. All right, so again, Stephanie, thank you for making the time, taking the time to do this. It means a lot, um, not just to me, but the people who need to see this, find it, hear it, and understand that they can make progress um, and achieve real change and benefits on the inside as well as the outside. So thank you again. Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to put this all together and to have me on today. I appreciate that too. So total pleasure. So I think we're going to do an update in the future since you're only 85% improved and we, we got bigger goals. I think maybe next year we'll do a, a, a progress update episode. Okay. Sounds great. Cool. All right. So this is Joey Atlas signing off for episode number eight of the fitness whisperer podcast. We'll be back next time with episode number nine, and we will see you then. Bye, Steph. Bye. Thank you.